Starting tomorrow, getting on the tee will be a little easier because the tap to pay system begins. Yeah, so theoretically, that means all you got to do is just tap with your phone instead of the traditional Charlie card. But there are some things you should know before the rollout. NBC 10's Michael Rosenfield joins us from Harvard Square with that information. Michael? Hey, Corey, it's pretty common to pay for things with your phone. Now you'll be able to do that right here when you ride the T. Take a look at these new digital devices set up and ready to go. You can tap your phone or a credit card, debit card, your watch. It begins tomorrow. You can still pay with a Charlie card or cash. The old system isn't going anywhere. This is just an added way to pay. It's meant to make things easier and faster for passengers who like to pay with just a tap. It'll modernize the system. This is system-wide for the subway, the buses, and the trolleys. Look for the tapping devices at the fare gate inside stations, like this one right here in Harvard Square, or the reader inside the doors of the train at stops where there's no gate or turnstile. Many passengers seem to like the upgraded technology for the T. I like that better. I do, because I lose my Charlie card easily, and I have Apple Pay on my phone, so a tap would be so much easier. <laughs> works and that it's functional and, you know, um, that it sort of streamlines things and helps the helps them collect revenue a little bit better. So the new tapping system will be activated as of tomorrow. This will not be available at the MBTA ferries or the commuter rail, but they are working on that for down the road. Live in Cambridge, Michael Rosenfield, NBC 10 Boston.